Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as some of you may know, I moved into a new house and my cost of living has changed dramatically. So here's the update. <music> So as I mentioned earlier, I moved into a new house. Multiple reasons why I did that, but one of the big benefits is that I've doubled my square footage. That allows me to have a much larger creative space or a studio, if you will. Still rocking two bedrooms, three bathrooms, uh, but I've got a much larger living area and a much bigger kitchen. Now my last house cost $250 a month. This house cost $450 a month but increasing the size and the location where it's at, it's actually not a bad deal. Now, as far as electricity goes, I'm on the meter and not paying the landlord directly. So instead of a thousand real a month, I believe I'm paying 736. Now I've doubled my square footage. So my usage is just gonna go up a little bit. Still running an aircon in the bedroom, one in the studio and a big two horsepower unit in the living room. Now, I haven't had a full bill come in yet, only a partial month, so I'm estimating that my cost of electricity is going to be about the same as the last place, about an average of $150 a month. Now, my water bill is going to be about the same. Uh, it's still just me, still doing the same amount of laundry, taking the same amount of showers every day, so that's really not going to change. Now, my internet bill, that is going to increase. So I've got Metphone Fiber coming directly into my house and I pay $55 a month for an upgraded service, giving me 100 megabit download speeds and 100 megabit upload speeds. And here in Cambodia, those speeds are actually really, really good. Now my phone bill, that's actually gone down a little bit. So I'll pull up SmartNOS here for you. So they've changed the plan. Now I'm on SmartLore 6. Uh, which is $6 a month versus the $8 a month that I was paying before. Now your food budget, that's going to be completely up to you what you want to do. My food budget, it it's all subject to change. It's how I'm feeling that day. Some days I go out and get a $2 meal. Does that give me the best protein? No. Does it give me the best value? Yes. You can go to the market just at you know the local market and you can pick up all the fresh vegetables all the fresh meat all the fresh seafood because camp is just loaded with seafood you can get all that pretty cheap my average run for the week worth of food for home it runs me about thirty dollars a week but i'll pull up nom 24 here for you and give you an idea of what the food options are as far as ordering out um, so these are just some of my favorites. Uh, ooh la la, for instance, if you want uh, a steak dinner, local steak, it's gonna run you uh, six dollars. Uh, so you can see here, the schnitzel's four fifty, chicken Dijon six dollars. Uh, if you're looking for pasta, uh, Marina's isn't open yet, but we'll still pull. Uh, she's she's pretty proud of her her stuff uh, so it's a little little spendy uh, but I mean you can go buck wild here and the food game in camp pot is still just on point uh, you can go and have a $50 meal if that's your style you can get away with eating for 200 bucks every month if you're trying to eat out every meal that price is gonna go up it, it's all about what you want to do for me Let's just say $400. $400 gives me $100 a week. That pretty much does it. Incidentals. Now, Western products still going to cost you Western prices. Bottle of shampoo still going to cost you 5 bucks. Bar of soap still going to cost you 3 bucks. There are cheaper options, but I like my soap and I like my shampoo. Gasoline for the motorbikes, you know, all that. I would say my incidentals are about $100 a month just, just to make it easy math. Entertainment budget. That's up to you. Uh, my entertainment budget's about $150, $200 a month. That's going out about four nights a week. But you can spend as much as you want to spend on entertainment. There are plenty of things to do here. And there are a lot of things that cost money. And there's a lot of things that don't cost money. It's up to you. But as far as my cost of living, we'll just round it and make it $200. Let's just break this down Barney style. Bust out the calculator. So my rent, $450 a month. My electricity estimated at $150 a month. My internet, $55 a month. 
my phone service, $6 a month. My, my water bill, let's just make it five bucks. Uh, as far as food goes, I said 400. Incidentals, 100. And just to make life easy, we'll go entertainment, $200. So there you go, $1,366. That's my expected budget every month. Uh, this is just what I pay. It's not what other people pay. And uh, how you want to live is up to you. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there showing luxury condos in Phnom Penh or living the high life and private villas and going out to the islands. And there's also a lot of videos about people living in, you know, $100 rooms, uh, $60 rooms with just a fan and no air con. Um, you can live here for $500 a month. You can live here for $10,000 a month. It all depends on how you want to live and what you want to do. This video is just my cost of living and what I pay for the lifestyle that I live. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. My channel is still really small and I get a chance to answer everything that comes across there. So until next time, have a nice day. Good enough for Kelly. I, I think I'm paying 736.